Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 5.28 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is the resistor RF in the circuit in figure P5.28 is adjusted until the ideal of M saturates. Specify the RF in kilo ohms. Okay, we are uh, asked about RF and until the of M saturates. Okay. So maybe let's name this here as V0. And here we take a note here that V0 has to be between minus 9 until 9. Okay. Minus 9 until 9. So this is V0. And outside of this range, it is saturates. So we need to find out the range of RF so that it goes outside this inequality. Okay, now maybe let's check the notes one by one. This is minus 18 volt from the ground. So this will be minus 18. And let's name this note here as note VA. And let's name this note here as VB. However, the op M is ideal so that VA and VB is the same. So this is the first thing that we need to know. And the second thing that we need to note is VA is equal to VB. Okay, and now let's assume the direction of the current. Okay, maybe this is going to the right. This is going to the right. This is going down. And this is going to the right. And this is going down. Okay. I think we need to do KCL at VA and then KCL at VB. Okay, let's do exactly that. So now let's do KCL at node VA. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, all good. Now the only current that goes in is this one. And that current will be minus 18 minus VA divided by 1.6 okay and then all the other currents are going out this is zero because it is ideal of m so the current that goes into op m will be zero and then we will have va minus v0 va minus v0 divided by the resistance between them which is rf Okay, so now let's do something. Yeah, I think the only thing that we can do is just to erase this zero here. Okay, maybe that will be simplify things. Yeah, I think I just leave it as is there. Let's do another things, which is KCL at node VB. What can we get from here? That will be the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. Okay, what can we do from here? Uh, I will have minus 18 minus VB divided by 7.5. And then all the other currents is going out, right? So I will have zero there. And then this one here will be plus VB over 1.5. And I think we can multiply both sides by 7.5. So that I will have minus 18 minus VB. And 1.5 and 7.5 will cancel into 5. So I will have 5 VB. Therefore, we will have 6 VB is equal to minus 18 or VB is equal to minus 3 volt. Okay, that will be great because we know that VA is equal to VB. So I will have VA is equal to minus 3 volt. Okay, maybe let's name this equation here as equation 1. So we can substitute VA to equation 1. Okay, substitute VA to equation 1. 
what can we get from there i will have minus 18 minus ta so i will have minus minus 3 divided by 1.6 and then on the right hand side i will have minus 3 minus v0 divided by rf okay now let's calculate the left hand side i think calculator will be good so i'll have minus 18 plus 3 divided by 1.6 Okay, that will be minus 9.375. And then on the right hand side, I will have minus 3 minus V0. Uh, I think I will move the RF to the left hand side. So we will have RF that. And that will equal to that. Okay, I think I can move this slightly. Yeah, okay, let's rewrite that. So I will have minus 3 minus V0 on the left hand side. And so we can rewrite this here as V0. That will equal to 9.375 RF. And then minus 3. Right? Okay, that that is an important equation here uh, and let's save this equation and clean up the board okay so far from our calculation we get v0 is equal to this one and let's substitute that to this inequality so we will have minus 9 less than or equal to v0 but v0 is 9.375 rf and then minus 3 and then less than or equal to 9 okay we can add 3 to all sides so i will have minus 9.3 and then for the center one i will have this one and then minus 3 yeah, minus 3 plus 3 and on the right hand side I will have 9 plus 3 okay this one will be minus 6 and then that will equal to not equal less than or equal to 375 RF minus 3 plus 3 will be 0 and then this one here will be 12 okay so we will have minus okay let's divide all sides by 9.375 okay so we'll have minus 6 divided by 9.375 okay that will be minus 0 0.64 and then this will be rf and then on the right hand side i will have 12 divided by the same value so we can just replace this by 12 and I will have 1.28. Okay. 1.28. And for the for the op M to saturates, remember that RF is always positive. So we will have 0 RF and then 1.28. But if we want to make it saturates it has to be greater than uh, 1.28 so rf has to be greater than 1.28 kilo ohm. and that is the the result for this problem hopefully this will help you to solve this problem and thank you see you in the next video bye bye